What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Uh, we are driving the hardtop today, obviously because the Target car is still not operational. Um, but we got a super barbecue up in Littleton, which is about an hour or so from my house, except I'm taking a scenic route today. So um, yeah, it's probably gonna be a little bit longer. It actually starts here in about a half hour, so I'll probably wind up being about a half hour late. But anyway, uh, went there last year. There was a lot of cool stuff, a lot of fun, met a lot of really cool people. I'm really hoping there's gonna be a Mark V or two up there this year. And so that way I can go get you guys a nice up close and personal look at that as well. Other than that, Got a nice uh, long drive ahead of us. I'll get you guys some uh, some filming of the scenery and stuff as we go up, and then kind of pick y'all up when we get there. the only downside to taking this route is that you do wind up having trains all right boys we have arrived let's see if we can figure out where everybody else is parked I'm assuming it's the same place as last year but I don't really know we'll see hey there's some people all right we got somebody flagging me down so I'm assuming I park over here Hi, Mark. How's it going? Good, man. How you doing? Cool. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. I love my NSR car, man. Well, yeah, dude. It's a lot of fun, man. Thanks for I mean, it out. Yeah, I haven't actually driven this thing in like, I don't know, a year probably. So. <laughs> I think you're number 15 of our Mark IV. Really? Today, yeah. That's a good problem to have. Yeah, and there's number 16 right there. Who was that? What color was it? David Motley, I think, from Spring. Oh, the white one? Okay, cool. He's got the V mount uh, radiator. Yeah, yeah. I texted him on my way up here, um, and he's I like, I, I think I just saw him for a second, but I think that was him. Okay, cool, sweet. Was, yeah. You have great timing, dude. Yeah, Not much, dude. Good park. I literally just got here. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> dude, it took us down to downtown Littleton. Oh, really? Before I didn't realize it went too far. Oh, that's weird. What's, What's up, buddy? How you been? Good. How you been? Yeah. Chilling, dude. Same old stuff. Hey, you're coming all the way out, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I think you're our 15th Mark IV. Dave's car is a little ridiculous. He's got this crazy V mount set up here. You wanted this yourself, didn't you? Huh? Yeah. 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 Uh, powder coat, welding, exhaust manifold. You need all of it. Pipe and inner floor intakes, down pipe for circulation, all of it. Yeah. Nice. Dude, your TVD6 is ridiculous. It's so much more comfortable, I think, than a V160. Is it? I think so. I've driven one V160 car, but it had a triple uh, triple disc in it. Yeah. And it sucked dry. Yeah. <laughs> it was miserable. But like, I got a triple in mine, but it's just, like the throws and stuff on it are so long, it's crazy. Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. Like significantly longer than the TVD6 for sure. Do you have the um? Do you have a short shifter on it? Yeah, I got a seize. Okay, I'm about to because yeah. I've got one on this. Um, it's the sticky short shifter. Okay. So, I mean, that, it, it made a huge difference because you have before, it's just like... Yeah. But now it's just clicking. Yeah. Yeah, it's killer, man. I freaking love your car. It's so fun. Where's yours at, man? Right here. Oh, I was about to say. This is the hard oh, time. that's right. Yeah, you didn't bring the... You didn't bring the no, because it's still in pieces and yeah. hasn't been tuned. The AC works too. Does it really? I don't even have AC. Ripped it all out. <laughs> I keep saying one of these days I'll put it all back in there, but until for now, I'm just trying to get the thing running. Right. <laughs> We got a V10 R8 with a six-speed manual in it. That is crazy, dude. You never see those. Not in blue, anyway. That looks so good.
Do you really? Is it Tomei? That's a four inch. Is it pronounced Tomei or Tomei? I don't know. I've always pronounced it This is the titanium one that starts with a T. And it weighs 13 pounds from, from tip to back. That's awesome. It's crazy. Seriously, we got out of the box, the mid pipe, and I went, <laughs> and Andy goes, I don't know if I can let you have it. <laughs> like the HKS titanium is light. This thing yeah. blows it away. Blows it away. Which one sounds better? All right. So to be fair, I've been debating this like ever since I saw it come out and Robert Andy's posted car, it. Andy's car is an 11 to 1 uh, 3 4 motor car with the HKS on it. Okay. It sounds awesome anyway. My car is a stock compression 3 liter with a single on it, so it's going to be quieter anyway, and I love the sound of it. Okay. instructions make me laugh because I almost threw the thing away but they send you a silencer with three holes in the thing if you'll notice one if you'll hole. notice there's only one in the instructions it says put it into your exhaust pipe and then drill holes in your brand new titanium exhaust tip Why would you do that? To, put, to put two more in there so you can run a silencer I was like nope <laughs> my, right? my only complaint with this is it's really low um, is it? I, I think so. I oh, like wow. once, yeah, really yeah, once once I put the new uh, turbo on, I'm probably gonna have a four inch downpipe made. Yeah. And if I go four inch V band, I should be able to rotate it to the point where I should be able to get up. Thank you. I should be able to get it up uh, a little bit more. Give me a little bit more ground. Clear. Okay. I got and the uh, veil side on mine, and I've been debating between that's this the one. Teardrop? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's like three and a half or okay. something, but. Um, I've been debating between going with this one and then going with the HKS, yeah. like the racing TI. And so that does. The, the thing about the HKS titanium is it's stainless piping from the mid pipe back and, right. th and then it's titanium from the muffler section. This right. thing is all f***ing titanium. Yeah. All of it. Well, and it's the same price point too. Yeah. So that, that's why I wanted you started again, because like, it's a matter of like which one yeah. sounds better. The box know? and packaging that this damn thing came in is heavier than the exhaust. Really? Yes, because they sent it with the, the tip or the uh, silencer is stainless steel. It's got all the mounting hardware. It's got, it, it gives you like a Tomei placard that's like that long that you could use for like a desk, you know, something <laughs> your, at your desk in your office. Well, so, I knew it was super light, but I didn't know it sounded that good. Because like the only video that's really out there is the one that would be real street made. And... It's hard to tell from that, in my opinion. That's seriously, like, I was telling him, I was debating, because I have a veil side on my other car right now. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's like, I don't I know if... I side parts. Well, I love them too, and it's... I just, I want a different noise. It's been on there so long that I want a different noise. I'm with you. I've got HKS Super Draggers on two of my cars, uh -huh. and then I've got a Gretti Power Extreme, which is basically the same canister. Yeah. And, I don't know, I just want something different. Yeah. Where'd you pick this up at again? So I bought this one in Ohio from the original owner. It was like this 65 year old lady, super cool. Had all the original maintenance records, original window sticker, literally everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that was like three years ago when they were cheap and they weren't forty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. If that was today, I wouldn't be able to swing it. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. We were trying to sell rollers for like fifteen, twenty k. <laughs> Dude, that's a truth, man. Like the, the, the cheapest roller I saw was. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. You know what? I haven't even turned it up yet. Oh, really? It's sitting right around, uh, I keep it on <laughs> uh, iBoost 1, but then <laughs> yeah. I have it on iBoost 3. Every time I need to get after it a little bit, I get the itch, I turn up to 3. I flipped it on, on uh, full kill probably three days ago for the first time. And as I was starting school, I was like, yeah, <laughs> turn it back down a little bit. I'm like, yeah, I'm not ready for that. What the highest boost level are you running right now? Like uh, highest, highest boost is 36. Okay. So it goes from, I think, like 15 to 18 or 19 to 23 to 25 then. Uh, <laughs> you made it! You're Dude, not you're still, still. I haven't seen you literally since the last one of these, man. How you been? Good. <laughs> churros are ready at the top. Churros? 
didn't tell me to just sure. Do whatever you want with that info. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Hey, and you parked right next to the other hardtop too, dude. What great taste do you have? Oh, sorry. Um, I'll allow that since you're another Nick. That's fine. I'll allow that. Yeah. Yep, it works. Are you gonna pop your hood? Or are you gonna like just be a hermit about it? I'll be a hermit. Okay. Can I pop your head? <laughs> Literally not metaphorically. Dude, that'll make you giggle. Yeah, that's a giggle machine. When are you coming on, Bruce? Because you're going to read clear in TikTok. Yeah, but you want to read the pairs going in the end. I'd rather have Oh, you got the stew cluster? Yep. I am jealous. I love these. If I blow mine up, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go 3-4. There you go. I'll shift the black out to Don, have him do all the machine work, and then you guys put it all together. Good or bad about the no. There's a uh, Geo runs it in his car. Does he? Yeah, in his white car that runs sixes. Yeah. Yeah, he runs a 3-2. Hey, here's the thing, like, just for the price of a 3-4 or a 3-2, <laughs> like it's also, great to say it's a three-two or three-four. Down to like good. ten grand for those. Oh, are they now? God. It's seven thousand dollars just for the parts. I was gonna say yeah, I, yeah, I remember plus paying. Three thousand machining. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just. I don't. I, I, I don't, block, I don't, I don't really have back-to-back -back -back yeah, comparisons yeah. with it, but yeah. with all the rigors behind it and all the headaches and heartaches with it, it's like. You know, you could build a really solid high crushing three-zero yeah. and yeah. still be more yeah, than happy with it. Yeah. On that note, it is time to wrap up today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I know I really love coming out here every year. It is so much fun. I really love seeing and hanging out with these guys and checking out the progress and stuff they made on our cars. It's fantastic. So, uh, but hope you guys liked it too. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I will see y'all very soon in the next video. Catch you next time.